In this tutorial I'll show you step by step how to generate nice looking wind gusts in Godot, so off we go. Before diving into Godot I want to point out the three main parts of this tutorial. A. Making a 2D line follow a path. B. Changing the line thickness to give the wind gust a natural shape and C changing the line transparency as a final touch for a more realistic look. So at first we want to create a new scene with a line 2D as the parent node. This node will be later used to actually draw the wind gust. And next we will add a part to the node and adjust the control points so that we get a smooth natural looking path along which the wind gust will move. The trick how to make a line move along a path is to use path follower nodes. When a path follower node is placed as a child node for a path, we can sort of sample the path coordinates at any point on the path by changing the offset setting. Here you see if I add a Godot icon as the path follower child, the icons follow nicely our path. Now, if we duplicate the path followers and set the unit offset in ascending order, we already get something that resembles a moving line along the path. To get a moving line, we only need to get the X and Y coordinates of each path follower nodes and use them to draw a line for each frame. So now, instead of manually instancing the path follower nodes in Godot Editor, Instead, I have written a piece of code which does this for us each time the scene starts. Here under this for loop, I instance first trail follow 2D nodes, which are simply path follow 2D nodes equipped with a helper variable trail offset. And then here I set the offsets for individual offsets so that the path followers will be placed next to each other. The second code part here makes all the path followers move. As you can see, we first update the trail offset helper variable and then given that the trail offset lies between 0 and 1, we set the actual path follower 2D progress ratio. This way we can later draw partial lines which makes an emerging or disappearing windcast look way more realistic. Finally, here in the third code part, we update the coordinates of the line 2D node. This is done by first clearing the old coordinates and after that we can get the new global position coordinates from the path floor nodes. Here on top of the GD script file, I have added some helpful parameters such as the number of line segments we want to draw, what is the length of the trail in respect to the path, and how fast the trail should move. And at this point our code achieves a nice moving line. Alright, so next let's try to make the line look more like a wind gust. The first simple step we can do is to create a width curve to the line 2D node, which instantly adds some smoothness to the wind gust shape. As the next step, we want to change the transparency along the path to achieve a kind of fade in and fade out effect for the wind gust. For this, I added a gradient variable with three colors transparent, line color, and again transparent. In GD script we need a few additions to make this work. At first the code here at the bottom adds the color gradient to the line 2D with which we can achieve a nice transparent look. The second addition here, the update path gradient function, calculates the wind gust transparency for each frame. To be precise, the first code line under the for loop here adjusts the actual transparency of the wind gust line and the second code line takes care of the fade in and fade out effects at the beginning and at the end of the animation. Finally, I added this code block which randomizes the Y coordinates of the programmed path control points to avoid repetition while spawning wind gusts. 
Okay, so that's all about how to create wind gusts in Godot. The link to a GitHub repository with sample projects for both Godot versions 3 and 4 can be found in the description below. I hope you can find some value for this tutorial, so keep Godoing and bye bye.